so we've had no income. Uh, this pub, uh, this venue is a wetland pub, um, so that means we don't serve food, um, which means we can't open in, say, tier two or anything like that. We are the lowest of the low in that sense. It was quite hard because I had no work. I've been at university for three years and half of that's been in lockdown. It's affected my motivation a lot in most everyday things. COVID-19 has brought everybody in the world to a halt, with any business that isn't seen as essential having to adapt into a new world, or even worse, have to come to a stop. And this includes one of the UK's most profitable industries, the music sector. In this short documentary, we shall be looking at the direct effects on the budget cuts that have hit this industry by interviewing and digging deeper into the feelings of those who have been affected. This includes a musician, an ex-sound technician who has had to retrain due to a job loss, and a student critically concerned for his career after university. Cade Todd is a 21-year-old musician hit hard by the pandemic. Well, it's affected my motivation a lot in most everyday things, and I did actually end up getting it myself, and that made it even worse. Not being able to leave the house was quite tough. I've not really been able to perform, so that's eliminated a lot of it in terms of like getting myself out there. And I was actually looking at getting into a band not long before, and that's just gone now, so I just need to wait. Right, electric time. That's how it looked as well from underneath. James Young used to be a sound technician who had worked with people such as Jake Bug, but due to the coronavirus pandemic, has had to retrain into going to his old profession of being a mechanic. Uh, to begin with it was quite hard because I had no work but then I started doing my mechanics again and got a bit of a steady income. How do you think your life will be after Covid-19 is finished? Well, hopefully I'll be able to get back to the job that I was trained to do and be a sound technician again. After a campaign led by Rishi Sunak in October 2020 asking people to retrain, James is one of many people who have lost their jobs in this sector and have had to look elsewhere. Harry Smith is a 21-year-old who owns two hospitality venues in Hinckley that frequently hosted band nights, but due to coronavirus, have struggled for money. So we've had no income. Uh, this pub, uh, this venue, is a wetland pub. Um, so that means we don't serve food, um, which means we can't open in, say, tier two or anything like that. We are the lowest of the low in that sense. Um, so obviously we've had no income and it's been a real struggle. We can't have any events on which comes in to a lot of our income. Um, and then our other venue, we spend tens of thousands on refurbishment and it was only open for 10 days. So obviously it's not great. Do you think that when you reopen after COVID, your business will be a bit different to what it was now? Like not just in the way like people might have to social distance for a little while, but do you think it, like people will like flood back to pubs and like venues, or do you think it will be something that people are maybe a bit more like aware of? Um, it's a hard one to answer really, because on one hand, I think you're going to have a lot of people who have been cooped up and they want to spend their money. They want to go out to the pub. You know, you've heard people saying it. I can't wait to get back in. And I think you will have a flood of people who can't wait to come back in. But on the other hand, I can see that now people have obviously been drinking at home mm. and they can obviously understand how much money they save from drinking at home rather than going to a pub every day. Um, and, you know, that's going to be quite interesting to see how that unfolds because during the first lockdown, we had a very similar situation. Uh, one of our regulars who comes in, he spends a lot of money. He comes in and drinks about three bottles of wine a day. After first lockdown, he'd been having people around his house and he realised how much money he saved and he didn't come in for a while. Mm. So it's going to be interesting. There's two different types of people and it is going to be interesting to see how that unfolds. For some venues that were lucky enough, grants were issued by the government to try to help those to get by. But it is not always enough, especially without steady income. Because the grants just don't cut it. Um, you're getting about a £1,000 a month, which don't even cover your bills kind of thing. 
So I do fear for the hospitality in, hospitality industry in general, mm. but luckily for us, we will make it through kind of thing. And like we said, as soon as you get past COVID and the restrictions, you're going to have a massive boom of income. Eddie Kleisen is a final year student taking music technology. He fears that due to coronavirus, he won't be able to achieve in the same way as before the pandemic and also feels he's missed out on a lot of the uni experience. Well, as a music student, I need access to the, the studios and to practice the skills I need to learn, the mixing and the mastering and how to record instruments. And I haven't been able to do that for the longest time now. And I felt like it has affected me and I've had to invest my own money in order to learn these skills. And it's, I feel, feel like I haven't earned what I need out of the university degree with the money I've put into it. Well, I'm actually going to do a master's at the same university, uh, which is music technology and innovation. Um, over the past year, although it's not been very easy, I have been focusing on things I can do, which is music composition and composing music for things like string quartets and piano and things like that. And I'm not done with music technology. Um, I'm going to pursue it and I'm looking forward to doing the next year. Do you think that your career after university would be affected by COVID? And uh, if so, are you worried? Well, I was very worried at one point with the, the government saying that they were wanting to retrain everyone and, and have you considered doing something that wasn't creative or music based? And um, I think they've, they've kind of gone back on that a little bit now or they've realised that that was not a good thing to say. So I think it will change in the same way that everyone's career will change, but there will be certain elements that will be fine and uh, you just have to hope for the best. Uh, would you say it's been difficult to produce music during Covid and uh, if so have you done anything about it? It's definitely been a lot more difficult. I've had to invest in my own music equipment like mics, got a new interface just overall stuff to be able to record my own stuff and mixing and mastering is always difficult by yourself so I've had to look into other ways of doing that. How do you think that your career in music will be different after coronavirus is finished? Well I definitely think it will be a lot more difficult at first but given time I think after a few years job opportunities will start to grow again and I'll be able to find what I was looking for before this happened. As COVID restrictions ease, I can only hope that the music industry gets the attention and awareness that they deserve to keep on thriving as part of our economy and our soul.